Hey my friends, this is Loli. Welcome to Loli Dee's Creations. Let's jump right into the first inspiration. We are going to be using one of these ceramic pieces that I got from Dollar Tree. They came new this year. And the front side was a little bit rough, so I'm going to remove that tag from the back. And the back is going to be become our front. And I'm going to use some of this gold vinyl from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cover it using it. Guys, okay, so I want to take a quick second to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am glad you are here. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure that you don't leave before you hit that like button. All right, so once that was nicely adhered, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess. I'm just using the shape of the heart as a template to just guide me along all the edges. And then using this same exacto knife, I'm going to cut off the section where the hole is so we are able to thread a hanger right through it. But first, I'm going to use one of these stars that come in this three pack from Dollar Tree and I'm going to give it a coat of my, I think it was apple barrel, yes, apple barrel white paint. And once it was dry, we're going to bring that other star back in and we are going to add it to the center, gluing it using some of this hot glue. Then I'm going to come in with this um, felt tip black marker from Dollar Tree and I'm going to write the word joy. And I'm doing this just to make sure that I like it first, but now I'm going to come in with some of this gold paint pen from Dollar Tree as well. I got it sometime last year, I think it was near the holidays also, but I did want the words to be a little bit thicker than that. So I'm going to come back in with that same black felt tip marker and then just you know fatten up my letters a little bit more and I repeated the same process again also using the gold paint pen once I was happy with my word and I'm going to come in with some of this greenery that I got from Dollar Tree this was kind of hard to take off but I'm Loving this this year guys. This came from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut that plastic piece off as you see there at the tip and I'm going to glue it to the very top of my star. But first I wanted to make sure to add my hanger to this first. So I took a jute cord that I came with and I'm just burning off the fuzzies and I'm going to thread it through that hole. I'm putting a little bit of hot glue at the end so it's easy to thread it through. So I'm just going to fold it in half as you see there and I'm going to thread the two ends right there and create a loop and then pull the other two through the other side and then i'm going to make a not a bow a bow a knot at the end and that made my hanger here i'm attaching my greenery using some hot glue and i'm going to be covering that hole with that as well and you think i'm done not yet we're gonna add one of these beautiful gingham bows that i got from timu right there at the top and now we are done I love this piece. Let me know what you think. My friends, today's video is part of the 5 Under 5 Challenge that is hosted monthly by Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And the guest host for this month is my beautiful friend, Aurea from DIY with Aurea. Their links to their channels and to their playlist will be linked in the description box below and also pinned in the comments. Make sure that you head on over to their channels and to their playlist and you show everyone some love. Okay, let's get on with the next inspiration. For this piece, I'm going to use another one of the ceramic pieces from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat with my apple barrel white paint. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and cover it up with that as well. And I'm going to add the Mod Podge to the entire front of the tag. Then I took some of these tags that I got from, I believe I got these from Family Dollar. Yes, Family Dollar. And I'm going to place the one that has this beautiful tree and that gold trim. And I'm going to place it in the top and then have my heat gun dry a little bit of that Mod Podge just so I can hurry up and <laughs> finish this already. I'm going to add a nice coat to the front as well. So this will be completely sealed in and protected. Then I'm going to take one of the little cords that came with the tag, the paper tag, and I added two jingle bells to it. And then I'm going to tie the two jingle bells threading the one of the pieces of one of the sides of the twine in the hole and I'm going to double knot it there at the base as you see right there and then once that is secure 
I'm going to add a knot to the very end of this cord so I'm able to use it to hang. There you go. Then we're going to take some more of that greenery from Dollar Tree. We're going to cut off that piece and we are going to glue it right there in between the two jingle bells. We're just going to add just one piece to just embellish this and give this some more cuteness or cute to make it more cutiful. And then to top it off, we're going to use this little guinea bow, add it right there. And that is it for this one. I love this piece. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this one. Next inspiration, we are going to use one of these little ornaments from Michaels. Actually, it's not an ornament, it's a garland set, but I'm just going to use it as an ornament. So I'm going to take one of those deers and I'm going to cover it with this brown oxide from Apple Barrel. Then I'm going to take a piece that I got from a mop head from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add it to the neck of my deer as you see there. Just going to cut off the piece that I need and we are going to glue this on using some hot glue. And I just cut off the excess using my little small scissors as you see there. But don't throw away that piece, we're going to use it next. So here I'm just making sure that everything is tacked down nice and taut and I don't have any fussy ends showing on the other side. Save that piece because we're going to use it as a little pom pom. We're going to add the little piece that we cut off to the tail of the deer to give it a cute little fuzzy, I don't know, <laughs> I just thought it was cute, a little fuzzy bunny tail to the, our deer. So now here I'm using some burnt amber to cover up our antlers. And we are going to leave the head nicely defined as you see right there. Then we are going to take this little berry that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to cut off that wire and we are going to glue it right there onto our nose. I love making Rudolphs. I, can't, I don't know. <laughs> That's a big old nose, but I think it's cute. Then I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to create the little eye. And we are going to add some of that burnt amber to all of the edges. And we're going to paint in the hoofs of our uh, little deer there and go along the entire perimeter just to give this more depth. My friends, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And I hope you will also consider subscribing. And if you do, make sure that you hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you each time that I upload a new video. All these things are free and they mean the world to me. Okay, so then here I'm using the same mop head material and I'm looping it as you see there and tying it on the end. We are going to create a hanger using it. So I'm just going to trim off the excess little pump area there as you see. So I don't have that show on the other side of my ornament. And then I'm going to take a nice healthy amount of hot glue and I'm going to add it onto our back there. And I'm going to press my uh, hanger down onto that. And then I'm going to add a little bit more on top and I'm going to add a little bit more of that over that just to cover it up and give it more stability and we are not wasting any little bit of that as you see right there. <laughs> I'm trimming the excess off so I don't see it on the other side but I just wanted this to give it more stability and to make it look cute on the back. And this is what it was looking like so far. And for a last little touch of cuteness, I'm going to add a bow right there to the neck, just using a little bit of hot glue. But of course, I'm not done yet. I wanted that tail to be a little bit more fluffy, so I'm adding some more of that material on there. I'm just putting some hot glue in that hole that was at the end and threading it there and just making this a little bit bigger. So we have more of a fluffy tail on this little guy. I just give it a little bit of a haircut and once it was like pump fun looking <laughs> and adorable then I'm done with it and this came out so so cute I hope you like it let me know what you think for our next inspiration we are going to be using one of these garland kits also from Michaels I'm going to take one of them and using the same mop head yarn that I got from the previous DIY. This came from a mop from Dollar Tree. I'm going to just wrap it along the entire 
piece of board as you see there adding hot glue as i'm going up each one of the loops until the entire stocking is covered i'm just making sure to keep them very close to each other and using minimal amount of hot glue so it doesn't seep through and this looks very seamless i keep repeating this until i got all the way to the top once i got to the top here i'm going to just take another piece of that yarn and i'm going to wrap it through that hole i added a little bit of hot glue to the end so i was able to feed it through that hole and then i created a double knot and cut the excess of the yarn and i'm going to just take this and like put the knot towards the back of the stocking so i have a cute looking hanger then i'm going to continue to wrap the other piece of yarn along the top of the stocking also here i need to be more precise and i'm using hot glue a little bit more often so i'm able to make sure that everything is covered as the sections here a little bit irregular and they are harder to loop around once i had that nicely covered right here you'll see me the last time that i do that I'm going to cut off the excess once I'm covering that board. The little end that I had left over, as you see right there, I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue right there and tuck it on top to hide that extra piece. Now I'm going to take a piece of yarn that I got from, I had left over from a different project. And I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the end and thread it through that little loop that you see in the back of the stocking. And I'm going to do two knots to secure it in place. And then I'm going to take a couple of beads that I got from a garland that I got from Dollar Tree recently. And I'm going to add one of the beads onto every single, every, they're both little pieces of yarn. And I'm going to create a nice thick knot at the end. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to that knot to make sure that it doesn't come unravel and then wrap the excess around it and glue it as well and then make sure that the bead is secure by adding a little bit of hot glue to the hole and pressing that nut to the hole as well and we repeat it that with both of the ends of the yarn and here we're just wrapping a little bit of that yarn on top of that wood piece in which we dyed the little two um, beads <laughs> to, to cover it up but this part wasn't really necessary because I decided at the end that I needed to break this up with a different fabric. So I came in with this rag from the autom automotive section of Dollar Tree. And here I'm trying to figure out exactly how much I'll need. So I cut a piece and wrapping it around the top section of the stocking so I know exactly how much I'll need. And I'm going to mark it by cutting a little piece. And then I'm going to cut the piece completely off and we're going to add it to the top of our stocking. But first, I'm going to cut off the little stitch piece that it has as well at the ends, just so it has a more fluffy and finished look. I held the strings with the two beads down. Then I added the stocking to the middle of the piece and I'm folding it as you see there, adding some hot glue to make sure that it stays nicely put. Then I added hot glue in the middle of both of the pieces once they unite and then once that became one piece i'm tucking it down right there and doing this towards the back of my piece and here making sure that in the front everything is even and if there's any excess i'm cutting off so here once i folded it it was a little bit of overlap so i'm removing that extra piece of cloth and i'm folding it over again making sure that in the front everything looks nice and even once I was happy with how it was looking, I'm going to just go ahead and glue this piece down as well as I did the other end. And I'm also making sure that I'm gluing that flap right there so it all looks like just one seamless piece. Then on the ends, I came in and added some hot glue just so everything stayed in place. And this is how this pretty little thing is looking so far, but I'm not done yet. I decided, as you see here, that the previous hanger that I made I didn't like it so I tucked it under that um, automotive cloth and now here I'm taking a piece of yarn folding it in half knotting the piece 
and then here i'm going to add some hot glue to the middle there where the this two cloths unite and i'm going to stuff that knot in there making sure not to burn myself and then i'm pressing it down until it's secure then i'm taking one of these little snowflakes from dollar tree it comes in that pack as you saw there and i am staining it with some of uh, the waverly antique wax and once it dried i'm going to glue it right there to the very front of my little stocking how cool look how cute that looks already but already you know i'm not done yet i'm gonna add this little bow at the front and that is it for this one oh my goodness i love it all right next one <laughs> for this one we're gonna use this cute little sleigh that i got from hobby lobby so so adorable so it kept coming off so i just went to go ahead and double knot that core back on there after um, i already burned the fuzzies so once that was done i'm going to paint it with my apple barrel paint as you see there. see there then i took one of these dollar tree little pieces of greenery i'm going to cut off the little piece there that protrudes and we're going to add it to the front of this way as you see right there i'm using some hot glue to attach it once that dried i'm going to take another one of those little bowls that i got from timu and glue it right there where i glued the piece of greenery and we want a little bit more color here so i took some of these berries that i got from dollar tree during the fall season and i'm just cutting off two sets of those little two as you see there but first i wanted to give it a touch of a brighter red so i'm taking one of these berries that i got from hobby lobby i cut off that piece of wire and i glued it in the middle and then i'm going to glue those two little pieces that i cut first on each side just to give this another tone of red and give this a little bit more interest and that is it for this adorable piece let me know what you think and here is the final reveal <laughs> let me know which one of my ornaments today are your favorite this is my third ornament video so if you know there's something that you'll enjoy here make sure that you go over to my channel and check out the other two videos. I'm going to link them in the description box below so you're able to enjoy those as well if you like. But don't forget to go ahead and head on over to the playlist as well and visit my friends. Of these guys, I don't know which one is my favorite. You let me know which one is yours. And I hope that you enjoy so far and you enjoy the rest of this holiday season. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. If you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion, and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. You're amazing. Bye.